Joining us this morning to talk about it is Brock Pierce. He is a philanthropist, entrepreneur, and impact investor, and he is with us on Start Your Day. Brock, good morning to you. Thanks for being here with us. Uh, the pandemic, uh, cyber attack, weather, ships being stuck in ports. It, it really has been just a perfect storm, hasn't it? Yeah, good morning. And, and yes, it is it is that perfect storm. And we, we don't know how how much worse it's going to get. You know, as the, the world is returning back, as, as businesses are reopening, you know, a, over a year of disruption to business uh, uh, is going to have some very serious ripple effects that we are likely going to see for the foreseeable future. I mean, we're seeing it with lumber and building materials. These things are up two, three, four hundred percent. Anyone looking to build a home construction right now. Uh, and again, you correctly pointed out issues with the supply chain. I'm not sure how much the the, the, the cyber attacks are, are, are having on this at a, at, a, at, a, at a global level, but it's very real. Uh, but it's also another point is, is the amount of money being printed. Um, you know, mm -hmm. the, the U.S. dollar has lost 97 percent of its purchasing power since 1965, and this is not a U.S. only issue. And the rate at which we're printing new money is only accelerating that problem. Eventually, that leads to hyperinflation, and we see that uh, in all of our products and services. The good news of all of this, though, is we've never lived in a period of greater abundance. And as individuals, if we make mm -hmm. wise choices, for our individual future, if our businesses do the same, uh, there is always a path forward, uh, but it requires us working together. We are ultimately in this together. We share one planet and uh, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. Mm. Brock, you know, some folks, you know, listen to that and they think, you know, that's that's true. There's there are jobs. We know there's a shortage of workers. There's a way to, you know, make money at, at different levels. Um, but then you have others who are looking at, well, you know, inflation is here. Yeah, there's some good. It could help maybe homeowners with fixed rate mortgages and things like that. But what about when they're just mm -hmm. trying to buy milk? Uh, what about when they're trying to do things mm -hmm. day to day? How is this going to impact them down the road? Maybe the next, I know you don't have a crystal ball, but maybe the next couple of months to the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I, my heart is broken. I mean, it. I, I, I feel so much for everything that every American and everyone in the world has had to go through this this last year. And I, I hope that you took the time to, to reflect on your life, right? Every challenge in life presents an opportunity, an opportunity to get your house in order. And so one of the things that a lot of Americans have done through this process is they took some of that stimulus money and they opened up stock brokerage accounts. There was this whole mm -hmm. Reddit rebellion and the AMC stocks, and it's such a wonderful thing to see Americans attempting to secure their financial future. Uh, saving and being prepared for challenges ahead uh, is clearly one of the lessons that has come out of this, and a lot of people are learning from it. You know, be prepared um, uh, uh, for challenges ahead. You know, it's, it's hope for the best, plan for the worst, and, uh, and, and keep that rainy day fund, uh, because uh, uh, it, it's clear this, uh, this is not over yet, and, uh, we're likely going to con encounter uh, uh, additional challenges as we uh, uh, get back to living our lives. But that, again, what a wonderful thing. We're, we're getting back to living as human beings. It is so important that we get to spend time with each other. Being locked in our homes for over a year is, is, is not what God intended for us. No, not at all. But you, you did mention we are living in great abundance and you gave us some of those uh, wise choices out there. So that's really great information. Hopefully people are paying attention to that. So it's, you know, the, the supply demand is, is one thing or the supply, lack of supplies is one thing. But uh, what about the labor shortages? Because if the uh, companies don't have people working for them, obviously, then that puts them in a bind. And then all of a sudden they have to raise the prices there. So how much of an effect is that having on things? Well, it's it's still a little early to, to to be sure, but it's it's clearly having an impact when when people have stopped working for over a year. It, it it's not so easy just to get everybody back to work. We've broken the habit of you know getting up and doing that thing every single day, which again is a challenge, but also presents an opportunity. You get to re you know take a look at your life and decide was you know was what I was doing previously was that serving me was it was this fulfilling me in life um, you know is this my purpose is this my passion and we get a chance to to reflect on all of this and make hopefully better wiser decisions going forward 
clearly the job market is a big one and you know it's time for us to get back to work we have to rebuild our communities we have to rebuild our cities and our nation ultimately you know we need the united states of america 2.0 and every one of us is special. Every one of us has a, a, a gift and an opportunity uh, to participate in, in, in the change that we wish to see in our lives and the world around us. And so, um, but it's time for us to get back to work and, uh, uh, and, and rebuild our communities. Well, on that point, rebuild the communities, you see the president, the administration is trying to rebuild the communities and talking about putting people to work with infrastructure. He's negotiating right now, uh, he's getting some, some pullback, a pushback, I should say, uh, and the, the prices is going down, but with the inflation, should he be asking for more money, to be quite honest with you? Well, I, I, I think that he's going to have to ask for more money, and it's something that I, I'm not a supporter of, but I also recognize the, the necessity. You know, you, you can't tell people they can't work for over a year. You can't shut down uh, the nation's businesses without providing them with the, uh, the necessary resources to, to start back up again. Um, you know, these, we're paying for the decisions that we've made in the past, and this is not any judgment in any way. Obviously, it was a very scary period of time in the beginning. We didn't know what the right answer is. We were looking at lots of, you know, Americans and, and, and people dying, and, and people hopefully made the best decisions they could with the information. Uh, they had, uh, yeah, but we're, we're, this is going to be a long road, and we all have an opportunity to participate um, and, and brace yourself. Uh, uh, this is a perfect storm. I want to zoom in just mm -hmm. a moment on uh, the businesses, because so many people during this time did sit down, as you mentioned, reflect and decide that they wanted to create their own economy. So when we have that opportunity, what we may not always expect are things like this, where you're getting inflation coming up, it's creeping up, it's here, and maybe temporarily, but it's here. What can business owners who are watching right <laughs> now do to maybe offset some of the challenges coming their way when it comes to inflation? Well, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things uh, happening. When we talk about new economies, uh, uh, a part of what I do is I'm the, the chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation, and I've done a lot of work in, in, in supporting this area. Uh, take just this last week, the president of El Salvador and the El Salvadorian Congress just made Bitcoin uh, legal tender. A lot of what you do in business, certainly if you're uh, dependent upon supply chains, is we find ways to hedge. Uh, we find financial instruments to uh, to hedge our risks. And so we've seen that everyone is trying to get out of, call it cash. They're trying to get out of dollars and, and, and bonds, and they're mm -hmm. trying to find places to park their money, stores of value. That's why the stock market is up. Uh, this is why uh, we're seeing commodity prices, things like we're seeing uh, that are affecting our, our, our basic goods and services are up. It's also the reason that we've seen things like cryptocurrencies up, mm -hmm. uh, as well as real estate. And as business owners, if there's an ability to hedge your your bets, to hedge your risks, that that is something certainly worth doing. And, uh, uh, and, and, and Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies have also been playing a big role in this. And governments themselves are starting to buy things like Bitcoin to put on their balance sheets to hedge the risk of, of, of challenges with their own currencies.